Good evening, good morning, and good day. And thank you so much for once again choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me. In the news today, I interrogate Vangelina Skov. Okay, I didn't know this was an interrogation. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a nice time. Wow, attacked. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. All right, now I have to think of some interrogating questions. Ah, <laughs> here's the interrogating question that my girlfriend told me not to ask. Mm -hmm. Did you see North Macedonia's entry to the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, yes, okay, here's... <laughs> What it's did you terrible. think of those it's lyrics? Terrible. Do you agree that this is the, to avoid being demonetized, do you think this is the no map anthem? What were the lyrics? I don't remember. I just remember not liking it and then tuning out because I was like, this is boring. <laughs> there are times when I remember back Wish to hug the child about to crack Macedonian Twitter went crazy when he was being sent over because he has a Bulgarian yeah. passport and he's openly gay. And everybody okay. was like, that's a sickness. You can't send him. I'm like, have you seen Eurovision? <laughs> have you watched Wait. Eurovision? It's gay. Like, it's, 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 it's virtue signaling the contest is what it is. It's, it's, it's politics virtue signaling the, the, the contest. And no, like, it's a gay party. I agree it's a gay party too and I'm a virtue signaler but like whew, there are some bits of Eurovision that oh, <laughs> they make they make my soul quiver I mean um, yeah now that you have no knowledge of what the lyrics are mm -hmm. your opinion on these lyrics um I think in, in third opinion this isn't yeah Exactly. You're, you you don't even have to put anything there. I honestly think it's funnier if you don't. <laughs> I, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the recent reports from the CIA and FBI on aliens? Well, I mean, I'm a big alien believer. Uh, like, been for years since I was a child, and I'm I'm slightly annoyed that all the stuff that's coming out now we've been new for like years. Like, this was already out. Just not officially. Some of it, I will say, some of the videos, they're just not UFOs. Like they're well, I mean, clearly they're UFOs, they're unidentified, but they're not alien spaceships. Some of them, however, I think they are. And um, I think disclosure is happening soon. Whether it's a real disclosure or a fake disclosure, I can I cannot tell you that. Do you think then some of them could be advanced military weapons from other nations? No. Or them just testing their own military weapons. I think if some of them are their own military, we got to be careful with what we say, by the way, because you will get flagged as like conspiracies. <laughs> but uh, I think uh -oh. some of them could be. <laughs> but anything that is them testing their own stuff is back engineered alien machinery. Oh, OK, OK, OK. So you think they've like been studying stuff from like some crashed alien depository not just something. crashed i think that they have actual like oh god people are going to be like i did not realize vangelina was this insane i <laughs> i think that the united states hey government... your, your interview to me did that for people for me as well so you know <laughs> this is us exposing each other as i say <laughs> yes <laughs> i think the united states government specifically has an alliance with the gray aliens okay yes. gray aliens Mm -hmm. not the other races places. the greys okay these ones <laughs> okay yeah. and they look like the classic like 70s 80s sci-fi artwork big head big eyes yeah basically i mean that was based off like the roswell one wasn't it and like the sightings that were happening this was all before the treaties happened between the united states government and the greys when they said okay you're freaking everybody out you can abduct this many people every year and in return we get some of your technology and they have that's like one of the plots in torchwood <laughs> oh, i forgot about torchwood <laughs> that's like the season finale of all of torchwood and oh my god it's like i don't like any of torchwood but i liked those episodes they were really good i forgot about it entirely i genuinely did no but i think that's real life <laughs> cool. cool yeah <laughs>
Next serious question here. Next serious. Very question. serious questions. Oh, some down here. Are these real questions, or is this just a piece of paper? Be honest. No, I've got I've got notes on here. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's prepared. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh damn it! I've asked the questions. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> we can just chat okay. about aliens if you want. No, 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 no. Okay, Vangelina Skov. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is your name? <laughs> what do I call you? Like you don't call me Granddad. You call me Pete. I can't keep calling you Vangelina Skov. I'm not allowed to call you granddad. I mean, you can if you want, but it's a little bit weird. Well, if you make it weird, it's weird. But <laughs> Fine, it's a little bit weird. Um, <laughs> you can call me... Whenever I have to come up with a name, the first thing that pops into my head, like immediately, is always Cunt Liquor 69. Every time. It's like, I said it one time. I'm not called Cunt Liquor 69. Yes. That's like my friend's old Xbox Live name of Chubby Goatsy yeah. Boy. I think that was like an Xbox Live username nice. or something from a that meme. That just got through, yeah. And stuck there in were my some brain. Ones that could just get through. My my friend's was Chubby Goatsy Boy. Great name. It's beautiful. I think yeah. mine was just Eva Epitaph. So, but still, what the fuck do I call you? You've not answered the question. This is the serious shit. Can't you see how angry I am? You can very clearly. I'm terrified. Ooh. Um, <laughs> you can call me whatever you like. You can no, call that me. Doesn't help. <laughs> I guess it depends on how I'm feeling that day. Why have I seen some people call you Zan? Because some Zan? people do. Okay, so let me explain. My legal name, my legal first name. This is not a first and a middle name. This is just my first name. Is Eva Alexandra right Alexander. and from that i get called zan like sometimes because okay. alexandra yeah yeah but like other I have people a friend called alexander who sometimes gets called zander yeah mm -hmm. but some okay. people still call me eva because okay. they've known me for years and okay. some people just call me dumb bitch i like it's... nobody calls me alexandra though and then vangelina comes from eva evangelina Evangeline, yes. And the Skov okay. comes from my last name. Okay. So, yes. Who would win in a fight? You or Nin? Oh, me. That, she does not know how to fight. In, she a, does in not. a physical match of fisticuffs. Yeah. I would win. Yeah. Firstly, yeah. I'm really scrappy. Secondly, okay. she's middle class. Mm. And I'm not. <laughs> So I know how to fight. Oh. I did MMA. Oh. Surprisingly, I used to be very sporty. Not so much anymore. I'm not afraid to rip people's earrings out and just fight like a bitch. I feel like she wouldn't do that. Because she'd be too worried somebody would say, Nin fights like a bitch. You know and what I mean? You could totally just, yeah, definitely, definitely. The appearance counts too much for her. And I was just thinking you could totally just like show up with like some kids toys and then she'll switch to one of, you know, you know, she said that when she's around like kids toys, she switches to one of her kid alters and then like easy. I'm not going to beat up a <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I can win that fight without resorting Obviously, to these I terrible don't, tactics. I don't, I don't actually, uh, you know, encourage such behavior. But yeah. what do you think? Next very serious question. Mm -hmm. All right, what would you rather have? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two hundred thousand dollar gold chain, mm -hmm. or two hundred thousand dollar Charizard that Logan Paul wore to the fight last night. I think I'll have the gold chain. I'm not a really? Pokemon person. I've oh, never gotten into Pokemon. Oh, right? No. Oh. 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 But like, I mean, doesn't gold increase in value oh. as well? Pokemon's got to die how eventually. You, how can you say that to me? How can you say that to me? I'm sorry. Oh my I'm gosh. I just oh never got into Pokemon. Like I watched it when I was a kid, but I don't remember watching it. I just know that I watched it. 
So yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe. There's a part of my brain that just loves Pokemon, and I'm just not in it. Gold does never like decrease gold has successfully gone up in value like every year in history mm -hmm. ever even through every like crash or anything ever but mm -hmm. pokemon cards are increasing in value a lot at the moment and i mean that card was worn in a moment in time yeah but also like <sighs> sweaty men had that i don't want it <laughs> um, see for me logan walking down the aisle walking down the aisle for his wedding to floyd mayweather wearing that <laughs> you nearly made me that, spit out my water <laughs> that truly made me part of low gang i am now part of low gang like he's grown since the suicide forest moments and that moment i'm a low ganger sorry <laughs> loungers right next very serious question very serious mm -hmm. what is your favorite anime and why mirai nikki because i just love it i've seen it 10 times <laughs> it's like a red flag you're like oh my god <laughs> Psycho. that's the one that's the one that like basically defined sundere right yander yandere yeah mm -hmm. gotta, you gotta get it right but yeah. no yeah it's basically that one well, i just I love it so much and, i swear it's, uh, she starts off sundere and turns into yandere no, no no because she yandere. isn't sundere when you're like really angry at the start and you're like oh yeah no so, sorry so sorry yeah Sundre, Sundre is that girl he's like yeah exactly always hating on the guy but actually fancies them but like beats yeah. them up actually fancies them. Yeah. yeah yeah so she's no. where she's perfect but actually serial killer psycho yeah i just yeah. love that one it's so good it's my genuine i'm not joking when i say i've seen it at least 10 times i think at this point i've seen it 12 times i really like to rewatch stuff as well you pick up a lot more there's I hate like i hate to be that weeb but yeah a lot of anime and shows you do pick up a lot more upon rewatching. So yeah, I have to send you a picture. I cosplayed, um, you know, Sick. once when I was like Sick. fifteen or something. Amazing. It was so terrible. <laughs> I had to put it together the night before because I didn't plan. So only I've, I'm I, I'm that's where because of my fucking just being an anxious loser for most of my life. I, I've only ever cosplayed twice, and one was Me as too. Light Yagami. And the other was as a Pokemon trainer. So neither, like, really, you know, effort. <laughs> we can do a collab where we, like, pick cosplays for each other and we have to do them. It's going to be fun. That's a good shout. Down for that, genuinely. Then genuinely down for that. It's a good idea. I'm going to make it be you now. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> Yep. just got to get a good wig my, the wig i had was like from one of those party shops because again had to get it the night before so it's not like a proper anime wig it's just like that shiny fluorescent pink you can see the net in the back from the pigtails nice. i had to put in myself it's bad just I, I just need to make my hair go pink again so easy job i want i want i want pink hair again i'm getting bored of the, the whatever this is yeah no Eel. if we do that you'll 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 be a uh, vegeta i think okay you cosplay as vegeta faster it's we're doing a bit of fun. like the, the gender flipping cosplays you know <laughs> it's gonna be fun it's gonna be i fun. recommend uh have you watched uh uh madoka magica madoka magica that mm -hmm. would be my recommendation for you if you're a mirai nikki fan i recommend that to every fan of, of mirai nikki. um <laughs> like watch. every crazy person who says that is their favorite anime for some reason <laughs> yeah watch fucking madoka magica honestly like it's completely different it's not a similar show but it mm -hmm. it's more like how it's a very it wasn't a show made for boys like this was a show definitely made for girls uh but not made for like a lot lots of anime made for girls you know the mm -hmm. shit whereas something like mirai nikki was amazing because it was made for girls that also still like hardcore shit <laughs> like <laughs> so like also like like kill bill i've always seen as like like even if quentin tarantino is a disgusting fuck himself kill bill itself is a semi-feminist film whatever madoka magica 100 recommend and i cannot like say anything else about it because it would be spoilers don't research okay. it just watch it clean afresh um and i'm um, yeah it's a really happy show <laughs> you know what i'm gonna start Just watching it tomorrow me. um Please do. yeah it's i really believe happy. you believe it, you it is sure. it's really happy <laughs>
I don't like watching anything happy, so don't worry. I don't see the point in like happy, happy art, happy shows, happy movies, happy music. I just can't. Like, I get that that's some people's thing, but I'm just like, this is unrealistic and I don't like it. Feel good, like, I feel good is good to an extent, but like, it has to come with something else. Like, like I'd say that the ending of something like Lord of the Rings is very happy, but it also comes with a lot of sadness to it as well, because like mm-hmm. all the characters are fucked up, scarred, and traumatized. Mm-hmm. Like they win the day, but they're broken. Like that kind of happy ending, I, j- I jam with. Mm-hmm. I get that. Thank you so much for watching this loungers. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and go check out Angelina's channel. And. Um, links are in the description twitter discord insta i'll have a link for her down below as well and we also did a video give us on money. her channel and there's a video on her channel that you should watch as well um and and go buy her merch because it's surprisingly <laughs> cool um i don't know why i say surprisingly i'm so <laughs> condescending i try to be nice and i'm horrible i don't mean i mean like as in like it's no it's cool i it, don't <sighs> and um <laughs> Bye. That was perfect timing. <laughs> There's that. Do not bye, put bye. that in the video either. Do like limited run merch. You should but do it. Then I'm worried nobody will buy it and then my ego will be shattered and, and I'll cry mm. myself to sleep for nights on end and have like a hundred t-shirts left over. And <laughs> What if you do a pre-order, like get people to pre-order before you print them and then you know how many you need to print? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Genuinely, thank you. I'm a fucking idiot. I, is it weird that my, my thought instantly went to like the, the, the band? The, yeah, like... Myth Band. Who, oh, what fair. other McFly okay. is there? And then I went to Marty McFly from uh, Back to the Future. I haven't seen Back yeah. to the Future. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I know that they like go to the past and then they go back i think that might be a zoomer test i think that might officially make you a zoomer i technically i am yeah whenever we've communicated i don't think i've ever seen you use a crying laughing emoji i use it a lot actually (laughs) no just i've never said anything that makes you cry with laughter i see oh basically yeah have you just tried being funnier perhaps maybe i'm going to live in a shack it's gonna be great i'm gonna love it so, loungers, feel free to subscribe to Vangelina as well and give her your money too. <laughs> so I can afford rent in Dublin. We all need money in this world. Right, next serious question. Next serious mm-hmm. question, because I know you're running out of time and this is not meant to be an enjoyable conversation. This was meant no. to be an interrogation and I you're laughing this. too much. I'm actually having the worst time ever. I'm, I'm nervous laughing. I, I want to cry. Good, good, mm-hmm. good. I'm upset that I haven't made you cry yet. I'm disappointed in myself. You should be. It's really easy. I'm to not make Louis me cry. Thoreau enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. I always thought it was pronounced thorough. Oh god. <laughs> it's not. You're not great with pronunciation of names, are you? No. No. <laughs> this is that, why that's, I never say people's names in streams. I, got, uh, how... I talked about Sergio Costa in one of my videos, and he was like, Thank fuck, somebody finally said my name right. Thank you. I was like, But that's how I said it. Oh, who said his name wrong then? Maybe it was me. I don't know. I said Sergio Costa. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm just it wasn't obsessed me. with pronunciation and names and things. Just I, I'm too scared. I'm always afraid to say people's names wrong. So like even on, I, I have to get over this because on Twitch when like people follow and stuff, I'm like, thanks for the follow. I'm a low ganger. <laughs> Sorry, loungers. I mean, he's definitely grown. Like, I, I wanted to make a video about him, how he's, like, changed a lot. Right? But at the same time... It's surreal. Yeah, he's changed, and I appreciate that, but he hasn't changed enough for me to actually care. Like, I respect yeah. it, but I'm not going to pay attention, you know? Okay. So this is, this, is, this, is, this, is pro- this is the thing that hit me, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, it's something my girlfriend was also like, yeah, that's pretty weird, actually. Like, she didn't notice it either. But so I watched an episode of Impulsive. I watched an episode of the H3 podcast and I watched an episode of, I can't remember who else's podcast, another comedian's podcast. And all three of them had a sponsorship from the same company in their podcasts. Mm. Uh, 
and it was for a online prescription for male Viagra, for like a chewing gum version of Viagra. And I was like, fair enough, you know, ED is a erectile dysfunction is greatly underspoken about problem. I found that very interesting. But the thing that struck me is that Ethan Klein for the H3 one, he made a joke about it. Uh, the comedian, he referred to like, he was like, you know, you don't have to be a one pump chump anymore. Whereas Logan discussed the subject incredibly sensitively and was like the most mm. respectful about it. And that just like shocked me. Shocked mm. me. Well, I think he's been better at like speaking up about like male issues and stuff and things like when he was talking about who was a Harry Styles, like he was with those other two dudes whose names I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's full on like fucking wear the dress, dude. You look sick. Mm. <laughs> Madness. More dresses, yeah, I more think, men in I think, dresses. I think you could be low gang as well. I think it's happening. It could be, it could be, but I just, I don't actually really know what he does anymore. Like, does he still vlog? Cause I don't know. It's just really his podcast. Vlogs. It's just mm. his podcast. Uh, as far as I can tell. And it's pretty chill. It's, it's weirdly chill. <laughs> if you put this in the video, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad's Lounge exposing Granddad's Lounge. And Benjamin are in the process. 